Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Welcome once again uh, to uh, my teaching uh, corner, if you could say that. Uh, I'm coming to you today to encourage God's children. Uh, though it may be rough at times and and though times may be hard and and times uh, 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 may be difficult, I just want to give you a word of encouragement uh, that god 's prosperity is on the way. We may see the world prospering and it looks like those around you uh, you 're trying to live for God and serve God, and it looked like it looks like that you're more in poverty than ever before. Well, I just want to encourage you that God takes us through seasons, if you would, concerning his prosperity for our lives. Uh, uh, and a case in point is God bringing the nation of Israel out of Egypt. Uh, he brought them out of the prosperity of the world, and the Bible teaches that he brought them, uh, I like what teachers used to say, uh, to the land of just enough. Yeah, he, he brought them uh, through for 40 years. They, were, they had just enough um, uh, to survive. Uh, yes, he gave them manna in the morning, and he gave them manna in the evening, and he gave them water to drink. But yet in his promises, uh, he had uh, uh, foretold uh, Abraham or told Abraham beforehand uh, that he was bringing them to a land flowing with milk and honey. A, a geographical land, but in the new covenant, uh, our land uh, could be our ministry, uh, it could be your job, uh, it could be that thing that God has promised you. Uh, that he would do for you and bring you into. So do not despise the day of small beginnings or the day uh, that things look rough for you and you're seeing the enemy and you're seeing the people of the world, some of your friends uh, that have chosen not to live for Jesus. Looks like they're prospering. Look like everything they're touching uh, is gold. Well, I just want to give you a scripture, if you would. I would just like to uh, uh, extrapolate, if you would, a verse of scripture that really blessed my heart when I came out of prayer and I just heard the Spirit of God encouraging me uh, in my own life uh, uh, and to, and I believe that it would be an encourager uh, to you as well. Uh, you, you're giving, you're giving, you're giving your tithes and your offering and you're giving to the work of God but it still looks as if that thing uh, is eluding you, your prosperity. It looks as if it's eluding you. Well, I, I just want to encourage you uh, uh, with this this verse, and it is from the book of Psalms, uh, and it is verse uh, beginning, it's Psalm 73, uh, and it's beginning uh, at verse 3. And David said this, he said, For I was envious at the foolish, when I saw the prosperity of the wicked. For there are no bands in their death, but their strength is firm. He's saying it looks like that, uh, 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 that everything good is happening for them. Uh, yeah, sometimes you, uh, the Christian, you get sick in your body and, uh, and you seem weak. But when you look at the wicked, it looks like they're prospering. Uh, well, David said, I've seen the same exact thing. Uh, he said they are not in trouble as other men. Uh, looks like that they, they never have trouble. You see them riding in new cars and they buying new houses and they just spending money. And they don't look like they are in trouble. Said so neither are they plagued like other men. They, they, they. You, you know, you, uh, you don't see calamities coming up upon them. Uh, uh, David say, look like everything is just honky dory with them, and look like there is no problem with them. Mm -hmm. He said, therefore, pride compassed them about as a chain. Uh, he, he, he says, like a gold chain, he said, I begin to see pride in them. Uh, they're so arrogant. He said, violence covered them as a garment. Uh, he says, some of them, they're so rich. Uh, they just, they just, they, they're just a violent people or, 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 or if not hurting people, uh, they just such arrogance and they just talk so viciously against people that don't have and people that are struggling right now financially. This is the wicked now. And he said he was envious of this. He said, their eyes stand out with fatness. They have more than heart could wish. We know that, Dad. We already know about that. That everything they desire for, 
David said they have more than their heart could wish for. Just money, 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 money. Your Jay-Z's and your Beyonce's and, and your Justin Bieber's and, and all the rich stars and, and football stars. Those that are not saved now. Uh, and those that are not seeking after God. Uh, they just have all that they can wish for. But David say they are corrupt. And they speak wickedly concerning oppression. People that are oppressed, people that are that are oppressed because of their finances and they can't meet it together. David said they speak wickedly. In other words, they talk down on them. Uh, yeah, they, they speak against the homeless. They they can ride by the homeless and, and, and don't even give them no bread to eat. Give them get, they they don't even have compassion for them. Say so they set their mouth against the heavens. Oh, they speak against God. Now, there is no God. Some of them, they're so rich, they don't even believe that there is a God. David said they speak with, they set their mouth against the heaven, and their tongue walketh through the earth. He said their tongue walketh through the earth. In other words, they begin to make all of these wisdom quotes, and they begin to quote uh, 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 wise sayings, and they begin to, to give their philosophy on life and all this because they think that they are somebody because they got riches and they because they got money. Uh, David said that uh, uh, they, they, now, now, now you hear Christians quoting, uh, 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 you hear God's people quoting these unbelievers because they have riches and they have wealth, and they and and, and you begin to quote them, uh, uh, these these are uh, uh, these rich folks, if you would, uh, 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 and you don't even quote the Bible. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He said, therefore his people returned hither, and waters of a full cup are wrung out to them. And they say, how doeth God know? And this is, this is what the, the, uh, uh, the wicked say. Uh, uh, how God know uh, about all this? How does our God know? I, I, I was listening at a song just the other day. And uh, it, it was it was just arrogantly uh, boasting about uh, the supposed uh, lack of knowledge or the feebleness of God. And they say, and is there knowledge in the Most High? Do God have knowledge? Oh, they speak arrogantly against God. And we as believers, we're steady trying to live for Jesus. And walk for God. And, and we see this. Dave, David was in the same position. People of God. Because listen. He said behold. These are the ungodly. Who prosper in the world. They increase in riches. And David said. Verily. And this is what we said. David said. Verily I have cleansed my heart in vain. Sometimes the believers say. Well, what, what is it that I've given it all to serve God. And it looks like they're they're having the abundance. It looks like they they uh, they are receiving all the riches, and I, I I can barely pay my bills. And I'm serving God, and I'm praying, and and I'm doing everything that the Bible. It seems like David is saying, it seems like I've cleansed my heart in vain, and and and, and I washed my hands. As an innocent one. In other words, David said, I've washed my hands and uh, from the things of the world. I, I've cleansed my heart, uh, the evil in my heart. And for the life that I used to live that was ungodly. The life that I used to live that was contrary to the will and the way of God. And I was making money and I was doing good for myself. David said, he began to say, oh, I've cleansed my heart. I've came to Jesus for vain. I, 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 I can't even receive. There is no benefits. To serve God. For all the day long have I been plagued and chastened every morning. David say, uh, uh, he, he say every morning. Chastening means to bring your soul under. David say every morning my soul. I, I, I get up and I bring it into subjection. He say I chastise my soul. So that it doesn't go after the things of the world. So that it, that does it, that, that it does not pursue uh, after wickedness. He said, when I thought to know this, it was too painful for me. David said, when I said and I thought about this, he said, it was painful. How it looks like I don't have anything. 
how it looks like that I'm struggling and I'm trying to continue to live for Jesus. And I'm trying to con continue to live for God. And I'm saying praise the Lord and, and, I, and I'm going to church and, 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 and I'm, I'm, I'm just doing all that I can. He, David said it pains my heart and, and we similarly as believers. Sometimes, sometimes uh, the weight of the world gets on us uh, because we can't do certain things or, or, put, or participate in certain things because we don't have the finances. But the world is just is just rejoicing and, 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 and they, 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 they just seem to not miss out on anything. David said all of this was painful for me to look at this, to look at how men contemn God, to look at how men uh, do not reverence God with their riches. He said until, ah, uh, here's the turning point, I went into the sanctuary of God, then understood I their end. Oh, he said, now when I went to church and he said, when I went and I had begin to hear the preacher uh, begin to separate between holiness and unholiness. Uh, when I heard the preacher or the teacher or the man or woman of God begin to teach that the wicked, uh, if they don't repent, hell will be their home. He said, until I went into the sanctuary of God, he said, then I understood. He said, now I begin to see it all come together. I may be struggling right now. I may not have what I need I may not be able to I may not be prospering right now but I will not turn back to the world I will not turn back to my ungodly ways I will not turn back to the way that I used to be because I understood their end there is a end to their riches there is a end to their ungodliness there is a end the Bible teaches them that the wicked shall be destroyed and the ungodly shall be cut off David said I understand now uh, that you can live wickedly if you care to uh, but I'm going to keep on serving Jesus I'm going to keep on going because I understand um, that the end of the righteous um, is blessed by God I'm going to come into minds um, I'm not going the other way I'm not going the way of the world because I know that my expectation is from God and I pray right now that this be a blessing to you father encourage them father continue to encourage them to keep pushing forward my sister my brother keep pushing keep pushing keep pushing keep pushing don't worry about it continue to thank God God told the nation of Israel he said I brought you through hunger I suffered you to hunger to know what was in your heart God is bringing us through this way he's bringing you through this way my brother he's bringing you through this way my sister to know what was in your heart to show that devil uh, that I, he will not turn his back on me she will not turn her back on me I know it's difficult for him I know that it, they're struggling and I'm meeting their needs but guess what Satan you will not have them because they have decided and have been determined uh, that they are going to serve uh, and to follow me and I thank you right now Lord in the name of Jesus for this quickening I thank you for this encouragement. I pray, sister, my brother, just be encouraged. This was something that the Lord just placed on my heart. Just be encouraged. Be encouraged. God is going to work it out. Your turnaround is coming. Just keep going to the house of God. Uh, just keep going to the sanctuary. Ah, for the righteous, the end of the righteous, the Bible says, is blessed. Amen.